so welcome back to my channel this is gamer dom and uh, this is black sun um who is driving <laughs> the um tier 5 british premium uh, medium tank the matilda black prince and i love the irony he's written agility on the side of this vehicle um because anybody who's driven this thing will know the one thing this is not is agile it's basically a tier for a Matilda with an upgun turret um, and the turret is considerably heavier to hate to um, carry the six pounder gun that it has and therefore um, it's even slower than it would otherwise be however he's on wide, pack, wide park he's got a really good match up he's top tier it does get preferential matchmaking this tank so that's one thing in his favor and he's moving forward towards the left left wing to basically try and get as much uh, well he wants to get into that, that ruined building that overlooks the uh, underpass that uh, enemy can't resist coming through um, now the, the good thing about the six pounder gun is its rate of fire it, even without any kind of equipment or crew skills it fires uh, 26 rounds per minute something like that and look at it working its way against this PZ1C who's just sitting there taking it you can also see the alpha on this gun is not fantastic um, generally uh, does around about 70 80 and let me just double check that yeah 75 is the average damage with a standard round but it has a very impressive penetration of 110 which at tier 5 is pretty good um, however it's not good against a not good enough against a, a kv1 when it's angled like that however he is keeping this guy tracked and he's being hit by other friends he's keeping that gun firing you can see just round after round after round now the problem with that is you can actually run out of shells i mean look he's already used up an awful lot of shells he's down to 37 left um, and given the fact this thing fires so quickly that's not an, uh, not an awful lot left however he's still got enough for that uh, t34 tracks him again and he's dead there's that kv1 aiming for the flatter section nicely done nicely done can he get the kill shot no go for the lago instead somebody's in our base but hopefully that m oh no i was going to say that m2 medium might be able to deal with him but he can't there's the lago again they're just oh, they're just loving it he said in his email this was a target rich environment and he's dead right just unbelievable and black sun loves this tank um, he absolutely loves it he, he thinks it's beautiful as well um, now do we all get sort of attached to certain tanks I know there's some that I like and I think they're really really beautiful and other people think what are you talking about um, Black Sun loves this thing but then Black Sun's a bit weird from what I can gather <laughs> so he's down to his last round of AP at the moment the targets have dried up there's a Stug sitting out on the top. Don't know what this Excelsior is doing. There comes a Panzer IV. No, missed him with a follow-up shot. Can he get another shot that side? He's moved over into premium because he's run out of everything else. Oh, there's a KV, KV-1 Sport out there. Just hit and killed our commander. You're going to have to fix that because your view range is drastically affected if you lose your commander. There you go, he's fixed him. Move back forward, see if we can spot that KV-1 or KV-1S. Team's winning, 9-7. to seven. However, you can see on the map, um, his team are losing the right wing. So the 890 line is largely open. There's only a T-50 over there. And this flank, they've got to push. But it's hard to push against uh, a KV-1 sport. And... It's hard to push when you're in a dead slow tank like the Black Prince. However, he is, and he's pushing forward as best he can. Going through this, uh, going through this tunnel, he wants to get avoid any kind of crossfire. Bounces. Oh, and he hits his friend. Unlucky there. It wasn't deliberate. You can see the guy just ran out just as he fired. He's down to 14 rounds left. Has he got enough for this game? Bounced off the front. Oh, and again. I've got to go for the flat bit. I've got to go. That's it. Much better. And he was looking for where to hit there. You could see. 
Lower plate is always a good place in most tanks. Down to six rounds. Making sure he hits everyone now. And he gets it. Whoa, that was lucky. He's down four rounds left. It is 11 to 12. There's a PZ-1C, a Stug-4 and a Matilda left on the enemy team. The Stug-4 has got four kills, so he's obviously no mug. Um, and Black Prince was, you can see, debating, do I carry on or do I come back? And he decides to come back, which is lucky because he gets a chance to pick up the PZ-1C. He was trying to cover. Now he's got a job of resetting the cap. However, it appears that whoever was on there has come off. So here we go, Mr. Agile, and there it is, the Stug. One shot, two shots. And his last round, can he finish him? No, he can't finish him, but he gets a ram kill. Would you believe a tank that does about 8 kph? He ram kills the Stug to, with, to kill him with his last... Well, he hasn't got any bullets left. He's out of shells. He's got nothing left. So, what do you do when you're in a, a tier 5 super medium tank like this uh, that can't really do anything now? Spot. Spot the enemy. He's saying, out of ammo. No ammo. He's telling his team. It's always a good thing to tell your team, even if they're not actually paying attention, that you need to. they need to know that you're not really going to be much use to them. So we're reliant entirely on the Excelsior and all oh, those two but that Matilda's on very, very low health. It's a shame. Shame Black Sun hasn't got one shell left. Can the Sioux take him down? Excelsior's taken out the artillery, so it's just as Matilda left. Sioux should be ready for him. Is he going for another ram kill? Don't think he can get a ram kill here. It's not going to, it's only a massive 23 kph. Hits this tree will slow down. Matilda's just looking at him. Don't know why he's not firing. I know he just can't do enough damage to ram kill him. And the Matilda's probably thinking, why the hell isn't he shooting him? Why isn't Sue coming to help? Sue could have him banged to rights here. Black Sun's going to die unless something happens quickly. Here comes the Sue. Can the Sue take him out? No, he's taken out before the Sue gets him. However, the Excelsior's come back. Will he take him out from, from the middle? Yes, he does. So that's it. GG. Really good game. Well played. So the most agile tank in the game. <laughs> Driven by Black's, Black's son. And I love what we've written here on the description for the game. For England and Joanna Lumley. Uh, you're ageing yourself, mate. Um, Joanna Lumley 4. Anyway, um, Ace Tanker, Bruiser. Duelist, far for effect. Finish top on the team, uh, 1,463 damage, 3 kills, uh, 1,077 base XP. Really, really good. Uh, 55 shots, every shot he carried, he fired. 35 of them hit, 21 of them penetrated for that 1,400 damage. He took 15 shots in return, 6 of which pen, 9 bounced. Um, and he also got nearly 500 assistance damage as well. Because he'd had to use all that premium up, because that was all he had left, he actually only made a profit of 2,000, um, which is a bit of a shame. Would have been a loss with a non-premium account of over 15,000 credits, which is not great. Um, times three battle um, made 5,494 experience out of that game. Would have been 3,600 in a non-premium account. So, nice game in a very pretty pretty tank the matilda black prince so from one extreme to another this is pixie pincher who is in the m7 which is the american uh, tier 5 medium tank but it's not really a medium tank it's um it's kind of a light tank that's sort of a medium and you can see at the beginning he's saying must ram tanks well he said tonks actually his mission is to ram kill something in a medium and his teammate and him are laughing about it because this thing is a lightweight tank. It's very fast, pretty nimble, has terrible armour, terrible gun. Um, it's, a, it's a scouty medium really. The good thing about it is its speed. We are here on um, 
Live Oaks, you can see, it's, he's got a pretty good team. It's a tier 7 matchup though, so um, again, he's bottom tier in a fairly weak medium. So how do you do a round kill in that kind of scenario? So he's coming out to the right flank, uh, which is a good place to be when you're in this sort of vehicle. Has reasonable gun depression as well. Um, very, very good view range. I mean, it, it originally was designed to be a light tank and it sort of plays that role in World of Tanks. So he's up here. There's, he's spotted a couple of the enemy tanks. And this is what you got to do. I showed a few games before of people playing mediums passively as a... Um, oof, I was very lucky not to get hit by that shell that was aimed at the uh, T-150. It doesn't look like he's got six cents on this tank. Either that, he was very lucky and wasn't spotted there. So he's using his mobility again. He's coming around, he's doing assistance damage. You know, he's playing this like a light tank. And Pixie is an outstanding light train driver. Going in for the kill on the isolated IKV 90B. I mean, that's a beautiful TD. But why he was there on his own, I have no idea. He's got no armour. And he got leapt on by the Swedish tanks. Absolutely leapt on. So, it doesn't look like the enemy has pushed hard this side. They have got a lot of mediums, um, not many heavies. It does seem like they've uh, not committed very heavily either to the north or to the south. So his team are taking full advantage of it. It's in the grill and we all know you have to aim for pigs if you see them. That's the Steve 74 above him. He's working over that Panzer T25 because that's the sort of tank that he can deal with. When this pop gun of a six pounder but he's realized that the stv there is uh well the steve 74 there is a good target to take out and he gets his first kill and you can see pixie is going in he's not mucking around he's keeping moving he's using uh, avoiding tactics as much as possible he's whizzing all over the place he's come over the hill spotted that uh, t 252 up ahead Oh, look at this team, they've just rumple stomped. Could he go for the team? Could he go for the ram kill? Is he going for the ram? No, he should have gone for the ram there. Oh my word, he had the chance for the ram and he didn't do it. Okay, so there's an E25 who looked like he was AFK. Oh my word, somebody with the, all the money to buy one of those things and couldn't be bothered to play. What a dickhead. Anyway, so there's that Panzer T25 and it looks to me like Pixie is on a mission. Oh, and he got killed. He wants to get that ram. It's 14 to 1. The enemy team have been completely rumple stomped. All there is left is an artillery. It's flying in. Bang! And he gets his ram kill. Absolutely fantastic. Ram kill complete. Mission complete. So what a way to finish uh, medium tank 11 with honours. Um, so his mission was to destroy an enemy vehicle by ramming it, completed he said. Win the battle, completed was the secondary. Um, not only did he do his mission, he also got ace tanker. He also got his second mark of excellence on that vehicle. Uh, spotter, fire for effect and of course a kamikaze kill for ramming that t uh, artillery at the end to death. Uh, finished top on his team on base XP, only 649 damage and 3 kills. But he did do over a thousand. Um, he got over a thousand base XP, which is fantastic. Um, Twenty-one shots fired, hit with eleven, penned with eight. With his pop gun, it's really hard, and he was bottom tier, so that's not surprising. Did nearly a two thousand assistance damage, which is what got his score up. No cost. To, well, he should have had some cost there. Actually, it must be a glitch because um, he obviously had some damage to his tank and also re repair costs. But thirty-eight thousand credits, which is pretty good and 1500 experience for his crew so really really good job there from pixie pixie is one of the finest light tank drivers i've played with fantastic player um so anyway thanks for thanks for sending that one over pixie much appreciated look forward to platooning with you again soon mate um thanks for watching hope you enjoyed these games if you did click like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so 
In the meantime, enjoy your games, have fun. Remember, it's just a damn game, and try not to take it too seriously, and I'll see you again soon. Gamer Dom, 